Our brains change just as much as our bodies as we grow. That's why we understand films, TV and media differently at different ages. When we're born, our brain has all the basic structures in place. But because we're so new, lots of parts aren't yet fully switched on to transmit messages. At this stage, the base of our brain is pretty much running the show. It's responsible for controlling things like our bodily functions and our fear response. But as we learn to do things like eat, walk and talk, different parts of our brain power up at different times. Like the cortex, which is responsible for our ability to think. While it develops, we can't do a lot of complex thinking and reasoning. That's why children can find it hard to tell the difference between fantasy and reality. It's why they can think what they see in films or on TV is real. As we grow, our limbic system develops. This part of the brain lays down memories and processes emotions. And so does our amygdala, which recognises danger. It links all our feelings up into the cortex, where we can start to make sense of those feelings and what they mean. When we're in our teens, the amygdala is calling the shots. That's why the teenage years can be an emotional roller coaster. The link up to the cortex is in the process of being switched on, and some parts are working well and some not. It's also the reason that teens are more prone to risk taking and scaring themselves with things like horror films. They also get a reward from enjoying the thrills. At this age, our amygdala is also more developed than our cortex. That's why young people still need help thinking critically about what they're watching. And that can continue right into their 20s, as our brains don't fully develop until then. At any age though, even as fully grown adults, it's good for all of us to think carefully and critically about what we're watching. For more information, visit classificationoffice.govt.nz.